What to do about the prisoners at Guantanamo? It can come down to two congressional districts in Washington, the district of uh, Democrat Jim Moran, who used to be the mayor of Alexandria, now he represents the city in Congress, and Congressman Frank Wolf, a Republican whose district abuts Congressman Moran's. I must say, Congressman, uh, you have gone where few have been willing to tread lately in the United States Congress. You said that if push comes to shove, uh, you would be willing, and the people in Alexandria would be willing to take these prisoners and keep them in the federal facility there in Alexandria. You, uh, you've had some experience with that. You had some pretty famous uh, uh, terrorists to go on trial in Alexandria. Why did you decide to do this? This must have been a hard thing for you to say. It was the, uh, the right thing to do. And um, uh, as, as you know, Bob, Alexandria has a long history. Uh, uh, we're proud of our heritage. It was the hometown of George Washington, Robert E. Lee. We've developed from a small southern town to a very modern city. We have a federal courthouse that is one of the best in the nation. Uh, and we have a very secure facility with an excellent sheriff and sheriff's department. Um, I know we can do this, and I know that we will do it because it's the right thing to do. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's a defining moment. I think you understand this, and most people do, in American history. Uh, uh, what we do with uh, hundreds of detainees uh, and uh, we need to act in such a way that uh, uh, subsequent generations uh, read this history and are proud of it rather than shamed by it. Well, you are one of the few members of Congress. In fact, uh, the Senate overwhelmingly uh, told President Obama they would not give him the money uh, to close this facility uh, if, unless he could give them a plan, really, of what and how he planned to do this. Uh, what is it that people are worried about? I mean, I think I know some of the answers to this, but why is there such reluctance here? A lot of this uh, is the politics of fear. It's rhetoric. Uh, in the discussion in the full appropriations committee and subsequently on the floor of the House, they referred to these terrorists as the worst of the worst killers. Uh, and, um, and I think most normal people don't want uh, people who represent any threat uh, to them, even near them, even though it's in a secure prison. I think when confronted with the facts, though, and the alternatives uh, to trying these people, most people will realize this is the rational thing to do. But as you know, we all have a limbic system that uh, generates fear, and it, um, it trumps judgment and reason. Uh, but the reason we're a great country is because we've had leaders in the past, at least, who have been willing to reason with their constituents and to do the right thing. George Washington was one of those leaders when he made sure that none of his troops would torture the Hessians because we were a better people than that. I think that Barack Obama is one of those leaders because he is appealing to the, the better angels of our nature. Well, uh, one of those who is very much opposed to bringing these prisoners back is, is former Vice President Cheney. Mm -hmm. He came on pretty strong when mm -hmm. he took on Barack Obama on this issue, really a debate that we never really had in the campaign, because in the campaign, of course, John McCain uh, agreed with Barack mm -hmm. Obama that we ought to clo uh, close Guantanamo. What did you think of the Vice President's uh, remarks? I was glad that he was making those remarks because that's the contrast that the nation needs to see. And really, we need, this is a democracy. We need to choose between one and the other. Uh, this has been Dick Cheney's policy, I think more than George Bush's policy. Uh, and now he's saying exactly what he thought, what drove that policy. And now it's up to those who disagree with that policy to not only explain what the consequences have been, but to explain why this is not a policy befitting of our nation, why it is contrary to the values and ideals that define us as a people. Are you sure in your heart, Congressman, that the people of Alexandria will back you up on this, that they'll go along with this? You're saying it's the right thing to do and that's why we need to do it. Are you sure that your constituents agree with you? <laughs> if I was counting constituent response, the answer would be they probably don't. Um, I, uh, and I understand that, but uh, you know, life's too short to just go along to get along. Um, I, I think I have some responsibility to try to do the right thing as I see it. And I've been involved in this issue for a long time. 
uh, the, the chair of the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee, asked me to be kind of the point person on Guantanamo to understand it, to go down there, to find out who the prisoners were, why they were there, and to come up with some recommendations. Now, uh, I, I do have some factual information behind that decision. So I think uh, when you can make an informed decision that you believe is right, you're just, just going to do it and let the consequences uh, 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 you know, fall where they, where they may. But, but it's uh, Barack Obama versus Dick Cheney, a, a, a policy that uh, he feels is more befitting the 21st century and uh, 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 diplomatic alliances and kind of smart power versus Dick Cheney's approach. Well, at one point, Dick, uh, uh, Vice President Cheney said, we don't negotiate, we dominate. Well, you know, that's one approach. Uh, is it going to work in the 21st century? Does it really make us safer? I don't think so. All right. Congressman Jim Moran, we're going to get another side of this story, a very different side of it now, when we talk to another Virginia congressman, Frank Wolf, Republican of Virginia. Mm -hmm.